it, it certainly creates a much stronger conditioning when the reward is, when is the reward's variable, variable okay. unpredictable. So you want, you, want, you want a variable reward? Here it is, right here, okay? Because when that email goes off, you know if it's good or bad. The lottery. It's the lottery, it's the yeah. slot machine. Yeah. You've got a slot machine in your pocket. I think there are actually multiple processes involved in, in what leads to these unhealthy relationships with smartphones. So there's social anxiety, uh, there's uh, you know, our desire for approval, um, there's avoidance. So when we don't want to really confront uncomfortable things, that we can use our phones as an escape. Um, all of these kind of things were always with us, but this technology is amplifying all of them. Most people, especially around here, have jobs that require them to use computers, and computers have now become this force that has kind of inserted itself into our lives and we can't extricate ourselves from it voluntarily. There's this uh, interesting rising tide of, hey, maybe we should be teaching ethics, maybe we should be teaching emotional intelligence mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. diversity, inclusion, equity, and um, you know, authentic relating, divergent thinking. In addition, you're typing while you're talking to the patient instead of talking to the patient. There's no eye contact the entire humanity of the medical discourse is gone. When your child's born with an iPad rather than your child's born with looking at the eyes of other humans. Clinical depression is up 18.5% worldwide. Wow. 4.4% of all people on the planet now carry a diagnosis of clinical depression.